Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. It is the end of not only the year, but the decade. Tomorrow, I will be breaking down uh, the decade that was my life. Uh, But today, it's all about 2019. And uh, what a year it has been. Literally the first day of 2019, January 1st, 2019, the first word, like the first communication I had with the person, uh, one of my roommates, the, you know, person that, that lives here uh, at the house where I'm, you know, anyway. Uh, the first thing I find out is that I might not be able to live here anymore, which in my situation would leave me with homelessness. Uh, now, I not that I don't have friends, um, but I, I am very lacking in the, f- the financial department. Let's put it that way. Uh, my current situation financially is not much different from a year ago. Uh, I've, there's a lot more potential right now than a year ago, but uh, the income is uh, lacking amongst other things that keep me from having the freedom to just go find a roommate or go rent a place. Um, like the, where I'm living now is financially beneficial to me. It's a very low cost, uh, situation. So finding out the very first thing I hear from a human being is that I might be, uh, needing to find a new place to live. I literally spent the day, like there was, there was other drama going on here. Uh, there was a breakup. There was, that's, I mean, that's why the, the potential for me having to move, uh, was a reality. Uh, so I spent the first of January with my dog out in my van, uh, just kind of driving around town, contemplating what is potentially my new reality, uh, really brainstorming how I could continue doing everything I do, uh, while actually living out of my van. Um, thankfully, that didn't happen because I'm still here. Nothing's changed. Now, I know I use a green screen, so I could literally be anywhere else. However, I'm not. I am in the exact same place I was last year. So thankfully, that uh, didn't change. But a very extremely stressful time uh, this time last year. Uh, like a super st- And I was stoked going into 2019. Um but let's break it down. What have, I mean, of course, uh, the many faces I recently, this past week, released the thousandth face, uh, the thousandth abstract portrait uh, in my ongoing ink portrait series, The Many Faces, uh, which is still going. I have no plans on stopping. Uh, I believe that in this past year, I started using colored inks, which is kind of a new thing, uh, using blue and yellow. But, um, yeah, just really proud that I've been able to keep up with that. So 365 new faces, 365 making of videos for each painting. Also 365 episodes of this show, uh, which I'm very happy that I've been able to continue doing everything. And that is really boils down to not having to be homeless uh, because that would have been a shit show. Uh, I also started new Instagram accounts for all of the different things I do. So there's the Ray Taylor Art on Instagram. There's Ray Taylor Show on Instagram. Uh, and there's Ray Taylor Photoshops on Instagram. And Photoshop is an, a new addition that I've been doing more of this year. Uh, in addition to obviously painting and uh, doing this show, uh, which both get released daily. I'm not quite up to the daily release rate of the photoshops. I'm not even necessarily weekly on photoshops, but I am definitely doing far more photoshops now than I was uh, previously, uh, except for when I was doing the the photoshops for my old podcast. Uh, but this year I've did done a bunch of podca- a bunch of photoshops for Ari Shafir. Uh, which I've been doing for the past few years, and then also Kill Tony. I've done, uh, you know, for a few other podcasts too. So now, because I had to pay, there was an update on my MacBook, uh, which I'm sure everybody got. Catalina, I think, is the newest operating system. And they changed it to a 64-bit configuration or whatever. So a lot of software that I had no longer worked. 
One of those was my long installed uh, version of Photoshop. So now, for the first time in my life, allegedly, I am paying for Photoshop. Uh, they have a monthly plan where I pay, I think it's like 10 bucks a month. Uh, and I have the newest version of Photoshop as well as like a couple other pieces of software. But Photoshop is pretty much all I use. Uh, so because I'm paying for it, I am focused more on doing more Photoshops for other podcasts. Not necessarily things that I'm getting paid for, but just Photoshops for shows that I really enjoy. Like I'm Kill Tony is probably my favorite podcast that's out. I watch it. I talk about it on this show regularly. Uh, I watch every Monday, as assuming YouTube doesn't screw up the stream. I watch it live every Monday. I rewatch it. I re-listen to it. It's ridiculous how much I love that show. Um, so being able to do Photoshops for that show has been a lot of fun. Uh, but just doing more Photoshops in general has been a lot of fun. Uh, just kind of coming up with ideas or anytime an idea hits me, uh, just sitting down in front of the laptop and getting lost for a couple hours, putting it all together. Uh, so that's been a big part, a big addition to this year, which I'm, I'm pretty happy for. Um, also, one of my goals for this year, which a lot of my goals are still, you know, I didn't hit necessarily, but, you know, I think I'm I'm more solidified on my track like I'm aware of the potential that I have uh with doing this show and selling like if I were to sell all of my artwork and get low end sponsorship money for each episode of the show then financially I'm set uh so, and that's kind of the main goal is just to kind of build everything that I'm doing to survive on the things that I'm doing and part of that is going to be learning how to get advertisers for this podcast um which i've kind of i've contacted a few brands and and you know gone through the steps and kind of understanding what i need to know and the things i need to be uh highlighting when i'm talking to brands trying to sell myself which is a very difficult thing i'm not used to selling myself i have sold things in the past and I understand how sales works. So it's just applying that and looking in a mirror in a lot of ways to see how uh, it's like one time where I have to not be self-deprecating and kind of uh, be my own cheerleader. Um, so it's definitely something I've taken steps towards, but I haven't gotten any official. And I found a service called Podcorn. I believe it's called Podcorn. And it's a service that matches... Uh, it's similar to Midroll, which is another company that does a similar thing that that pairs podcasters up with brands and uh, gives you the opportunity to contact brands and give them a pitch uh, and it shows their budget. So you can see, you know, kind of you can kind of make a, a case for whatever you expect to get for your promotion. It's just it's a cool service that I just found out like maybe a month ago. Uh, so I'll be looking into that quite a bit more. But in the new year, kind of learning how to pitch myself to brands to get uh, sponsorship is going to be the the most growth uh, for me in the new year. Um, but I'm glad I've taken a few steps. And then also a big kind of out of nowhere thing that happened this past year was a video I did, a Zippo lighter video I did a couple years ago. Uh, where I it was an unboxing video slash a beginner's guide to Zippo lighters because I just got into using Zippo lighters. Uh, so uh, it exploded this past year. Uh, exploded twice this past year. And it's up to, it's close to, I think, maybe 400,000 views on YouTube, which in turn has given me... Uh, close to a thousand new subscribers on the YouTube channel. So it's one of those things that is a reminder of you never know when something's going to hit. Uh, you know, having my YouTube page and having all of the old podcasts I've, ha I've done on there, along with new podcasts that I've done um, and all the clips and things like that, like it doesn't take much. Like just seeing what can happen when one video can, can get some traction um it just it despite not 
hitting a lot of other goals, it was it's it gives me motivation to know um, that things can change in an instant, and it, it's cool to see. It's cool to see. And uh, the main complaint on that video is that I have shaky hands, uh, which you know I'm good with. I'm good with. It's it's amazing. It's weird that a video that I did just offhand. Uh, exploded this year, but it was a big highlight for 2019. Uh, great year overall. I'm I'm very positive going into the new year. So 2020, I think, is going to be a big year for me, and I, I it has to be a big year for me in a lot of ways because I am like Adam Sandler's character in uh, Uncut Gems, in a much more stretched out way. I'm stacking, kind of borrowing from Peter to pay Paul in a lot of ways. Uh, so 2020 should hopefully be a good year, but it was a good year for me. Uh, and it ended really well, despite how it started. And I'm looking forward to the new year, doing more episodes of this show, doing more paintings, growing and getting better in everything that I do. And I thank everybody for coming along with me on this journey. New episodes of the Ray Taylor show do come out every single day. So you can subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork over at inspireddisorder.com and save 25% when you use coupon code RTS. Follow me on social media at Ray Taylor. Have a wonderful year, everybody. Peace out!